State Bank of India said today that it plans to triple the amount of loans that it will buy from NBFCs. Uh, the bank said that it had initially planned a growth of 15,000 crore through portfolio purchases during the year and now that is being tripled uh, and uh, they are planning to buy an additional 20 or 30,000 crore over and above the originally planned 15,000 crore. To discuss the strategy, I have with me none other than the big man from State Bank of India, Chairman Rajneesh Kumar. Mr. Kumar, thank you very much for joining me. Is this a bailout to an ailing sector or is it that you are going to convert their uh, problem into your opportunity? Uh, so one is that, uh, why are you saying that it is a bailout? Okay. <coughs> it is, uh, I think it is a win-win situation for okay. everyone. Okay. Whenever uh, you take such action, mm. you don't take it with a selfish interest for sure. Mm. And unless you create a situation where everybody emerges to be winner, mm. it does not succeed. So the idea is that every year we keep on purchasing the portfolio. Focus is always on the purchase of uh, priority sector's portfolio because uh, their SBI is uh, short of the target. And as a matter of strategy, we have been doing it. And we have been doing it as per the well-defined process mm. and the loan policy of the bank. Mm. Now, in a situation where uh, there is an opportunity where some of the NBFCs may be looking for solution to the ALM problem. I mm. won't call it a bailout exactly. Mm. But if there is, with any NBFC, there is a situation where there is a asset liability mismatch, mm. then through this action, what will happen that they can offload some of their portfolio. Mm. And we are a willing buyer. Mm. And their dependence on the short term paper will go down. Mm. So I think it is a very good and a perfect solution. And SBI, we have the capital, we have the liquidity. And uh, you have been telling us that SBI is not growing as fast as it should. So why not make use of this opportunity? Okay. Uh, well, that is a statesman-like answer, I must say, uh, Mr. Kumar. I'll tell you why I called it a bailout. I've spoken to at least half a dozen bankers today, asking them if they will lend because NBFCs tell us that even the sanctioned limits are not being released uh, by many banks. Uh, and the bankers say, why should we release it now? The mutual funds are not touching it because they are afraid that uh, the paper may not be good quality. Why should we pick up their rejects? Uh, you know, this was the, uh, uh, you know, re response I got from some of the banks. Right. So that's what I'm saying, that uh, in purchasing the portfolio, uh, even if some banks, mm. I don't know uh, which banks you are referring to because mm. uh, we have been extending support to NBFCs mm. uh, throughout. And earlier also I had made a statement that mm. uh, uh, whatever sanction limits are there, they mm. all are available. Mm. Uh, we are not withdrawing from that. Yep. But the fact is that mutual funds, mm. they rely more on the rating. Mm. Whereas when the banks take any investment decision or credit decision, it is done on the basis of a very detailed loan appraisal. So that way I can say that the credit assessment which bank does is of much more due diligence involved than a mutual fund will do. Mm. So that is the key difference. Mm. Well, uh, and uh, about like lending more, mm -hmm. maybe the banks, mm. yeah, just let me complete mm. a little sure. bit. And uh, maybe if banks are hesitant, mm. one, on one, two, three NBFCs where they believe that uh, the credit quality does not meet the standard mm. and it is not today. It mm. may be like the situation whenever you are doing a credit assessment mm. that uh, the the view on different NBFCs are different mm. even if uh, their external rating may be the mm. same and that is how the lending policies of the banks are mm. governed. Mm. So in such a scenario the portfolio purchase or securitization mm. creates a situation where there is a due diligence done on the pool. Mm. And because most of these NPFCs, say for example the State Bank of India, mm. we have been purchasing portfolio, we are even aware mm. that how does the portfolio mm. perform yes. or what is the quality of lending. Yes. So this uh, 
this uh, appears to be mm. the best solution in yeah. today's circumstances. Yes. No, actually, uh, there were other private sector bankers also who exactly said the same thing. Their point is that their exposure to some of the NBFCs could uh, go down in rating if uh, the liquidity uh, tightness continues. At such a point, they are also willing to buy uh, because rather than take uh, exposure to a, a, a one NBFC, which could go down from A to uh, you know uh, to probably triple B plus or something like that, they might rather have an exposure to a diversified portfolio. So, do you see a lot of sales happening, and do you see them happening at very attractive rates for the bankers because you all have the money and uh, uh, therefore you can call the tune? Hmm. No, that is okay, but uh, uh, State Bank of India, again, uh, mm. we are a very responsible bank mm. and uh, definitely like uh, uh, we would be mindful of the fact that if there is an opportunity to uh, buy the portfolio mm. at uh, a rate which is suitable for the bank and which is suitable for the seller. Okay. So uh, we will be looking at that, but we are not loan sharks, let me okay, tell you. Yeah, State okay. Bank doesn't work on that principle that here is the opportunity and you charge whatever you want to okay. charge. Okay. Uh, it is not a responsibility. Ha has any deal been done already, Mr. K Kumar? No, that I said, no, that uh, like it is a continuous process. Mm. Only thing is what we are doing is now we are stepping up. Okay. We are okay. stepping up the target okay. and we will be stepping up uh, if uh, uh, like uh, it's, a, it's an open invitation that mm. uh, uh, if uh, you meet our criteria in mm. terms of the rating of the originator, mm. the due diligence on the pool to be purchased mm. and the pricing, servicing fee, the risk sharing. Mm. So if uh, the criteria is met and uh, we are willing and uh, we have the funding mm. and uh, we have the capital. Mm. And uh, it is a, some sort of an invitation to any NBFC who wants to come. Okay. They can initiate dialogue with us mm -hmm. and we ourselves would also be approaching the NBFCs uh, on our own. Also. Okay. Typically, how quickly can this be concluded? Uh, should we expect to hear from you in a day or two of having concluded some deal? No, it is all about like uh, there is a little bit of time uh, when there is a pool available then due diligence takes time because okay. you have to do thorough due diligence on the pool. Okay. But the process is much faster than, okay. uh, uh, rather than giving a loan to NBFC, sure. this process is much faster. Mm. What we have to do is just do the pool, uh, mm. analysis of the pool, okay. whatever is available, mm. negotiate the pricing and the servicing fee. Okay. And uh, the rating of the originator in any case is uh, available to us, external and internal both.